Hey everybody, Mark Agnesi here again in the back room of Norman's Rare Guitars. Guitar Mageddon, day three. We're clearing out all sorts of stuff. You need a copy of Karate Masters? We're selling it. Why not? We got one. I got a guitar today that I want to do before it leaves the building, make sure that this thing gets chronicled. It's from 1938. It's a Gibson. Uh, come on back here. Let's, uh, before we open this thing, I'm going to talk a little bit about what was going on in 1938. So, 1938, like, Martin is in there freaking prime. Like, this is like the absolute peak of perfection of Martin guitars. Like, you know, 36, 37, 38. That is just like the most golden of golden eras of Martin guitar building. All the stuff they were making then was great. The D18s in particular, and of course the Herringbone D28s from that era are some of the most prized acoustic guitars of all times. That's the kind of stuff that the collector guys have no problem dropping six figures plus on Herringbones from that era. So, meanwhile, in Kalamazoo, Gibson is trying to find a way to compete. So, uh, they came out with this model right here. Uh, this is from 1938. First off, before we do anything else, can we just admire this case, which is probably the freaking raddest case I've ever seen. Two-tone tweed racing stripe hard shell case. All right, let's not get caught up on the case, but from 1938, this is a Gibson Advanced Jumbo. Yep, the real thing. I've only seen about a handful of these in my life, maybe five or six of them, and they've all looked like they were just drugged behind a bus. Um, this is probably, hands down, the nicest condition one of these I've ever seen. Um, so basically, this is a rosewood back and sides, uh, slope shoulder Gibson. Um, they did very few guitars with rosewood. This was kind of their answer to Martin's Herringbone D28. This is the top of the line Gibson at the time. Uh, spruce top, like I said, the rosewood back and sides, rosewood board, rosewood bridge, the cool arrowhead uh, inlays, Gibson script logo. Uh, this is such a spectacular instrument. Um, they only did these for a few years. Once you, of course, we get 1941, World War II, we start getting involved in World War II, everybody leaves, and that's when Gibson brings in those 300 beautiful ladies who built the greatest Gibson era acoustic guitars, in my opinion, the Banner guitars. Um, but this is pre-Banner, this is, um, you know, right before then, this is uh, their top of the top of the line. These things are almost like ghosts, they hardly exist. Why don't we uh, go out front and strum this thing, see what it can do. All right, so we're out front here. We have the 1938 Gibson Advanced Jumbo, the rosewood back and sides on it. Uh, let's give this thing a quick strum, see what it can do here. You guys from 1938 Gibson Advanced Jumbo original sunburst finish rosewood back and sides check us out online normansrareguitars.com 